guys family welcome back to my vlog channel so right now we are on our way to Dave and Buster's to celebrate one of my friends birthday parties super excited to play some games and um, yeah I'm pretty much like a champion at basketball so all right guys so we are at Dave and Buster's right now if you look over there there it is and I'm about to whoop some people's butts in video games let's go plants and make like a little terrain ecosystem thing going on in my quail coop so that's why we're here and we need to get something better for the roof because that fabric mesh is, I don't think it's gonna work I think raccoons are gonna be able to get through it so we're gonna get something else to fortify these walls I'm looking at these plants right here. I'm looking for like a grassy type plant. This requires full sun though, and I don't necessarily think inside the coop we're gonna get full sun. So I'm probably gonna need like a partially shady to shady grass. So that's what I'm looking for now. Just to make it look prettier, they can hide under this if they need to. You know, quills are like a grassy bird. So I just picked this plant out right here. I thought that it looks cool. It has a lot of like areas for the quills to go into. Um, and then I just did a quick Google search on my phone to see if this is toxic and it turns out that it is It's toxic to cats and dogs. So I'm assuming it would be toxic to quails, too I know quails like to peck at things So I want to put only friendly plants in there that are not gonna like make them sick So I'm gonna have to put this back unfortunately even though it looks so cool. It has like hints of red. I love this. This is beautiful Look at those vibrant colors. Oh my gosh. I love that that's so pretty. Rosemary, fennel, thyme, sage, oregano, chickweed, dandelion, blueberries. So we need to try to find that stuff. Blueberries in the front. I think that would be like in the vegetable section. We need to get some piles. Maybe we'll see what looks good. You know, I like that. I like that rug. I like that. Look at that rug. I hate that rug. That red one? No. Oh. It's not bad. Alright guys, so we painted my whole entire filming room, my lab, and I'll insert a clip. Painting my YouTube studio and... Oh my god. Are you serious? Are you serious? Is this real life? Is this real life? <laughs> Jay, <laughs> Jay just tripped and he fell in the paint. <laughs> Fucking Jay! <laughs> Jay spilled paint all over our rubber floor, and he actually just didn't spill it. He fell into it after he sp <laughs> he rolled into it, and it was so funny. So we need to replace the whole floor now because the floor is ruined. And I wanted to anyways because cat hair gets stuck to it. So eventually we're gonna be needing to redo the floors, but not today because we got the coils to worry about. Now we are looking for some bolts so we can bolt a tin roof onto a coil cage because we lost a bolt. Oh, and I need locks. We bought some lavender, we got wire cutters, we got wire to fortify the coil coop. We are getting new wash rack mats for our wash rack and then we're getting more mats for our garage so we can make a little gym in there. All right guys, so we are home now. We need to unload the mats quick. I'm not gonna assemble them yet because I have priorities here. So we're gonna unload the mats and then we are going to get these giant things and work on the roof. We're really tired right now, but 
We're gonna power through it and get it done because it needs to get done. Literally, this whole thing has been taking like six days, maybe even longer. I feel like way longer than that. I don't know. I'm really excited to get the quills out to their new dream mansion. Speaking of that, I need to bring spray paint and scissors. So I have some dog food right here. I'm gonna put this in the middle of the aviary. I have a like hunting camera that is going to record basically it records when there's motion so we're gonna see what kind of predators we have and we're gonna see if they can break into my aviary recently i had a raccoon steal a whole bag of cat food i literally haven't found the bag yet the cat food a little bit of it was on the ground so i know we have raccoons out here it's just a matter of keeping them out and keeping my quail safe so yeah we're gonna be setting this up as well so it should be a lot of fun i'm actually really excited about it Let's go. All right, guys, so we are down here at the quail cages. I'm gonna call this the quail zip tie mansion, okay? I call it the zip tie mansion because there's a million zip ties everywhere. I still have to cut this and then I'm gonna spray paint it. But we have a bunch of zip ties, it's all fortified. Here is the roof that we are doing. So this is, I wanna say it's two and a fourth metal welded something I don't know I don't remember but that's what this is comes in a large roll as you can see there's the roll over there and I feel really 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 happy and excited about having this as predator protection on the roof just because I was worried about this cloth you know obviously dude a raccoon would be able to get in here so easy and just climb down eat my quails and then leave so we didn't fortify all these walls not to fortify the ceiling we also have an apron going around so that means we have hardwire cloth underneath that's why the dirt there's so much dirt over here it's going underneath so this one has an apron that goes out and then this one over here goes down and then on the front of this one it goes down and then down on that side but the rest is just out I got this coop online and this coop was, I want to say it was like $800, but shipping was like $400. They had to bring it on a pallet and, and like ship it separately. When I first saw it, I didn't realize how small it was. As you can see, like the size comparison, this one's so much smaller than that one. And that's kind of annoying for me. Also, this one does not have a very good door like what what is that you know like a peg i'm gonna have to try and find a way to secure that better so my japanese aka conternix quails are going in here these are the ones you guys watched get birthed i need to get more females for this particular cage you guys might be wondering why i have two quail mansions instead of one originally i was just having one quail mansion well Turns out the little baby quails, the most recent quails, my bob white quails, turns out that those quails will not get along with my Japanese conternix quails. They'll basically, bob white quails still have like wild DNA in them and they actually still can live wild. There are real wild quails that live, which is crazy to me. But my bob whites will basically murder my conternix if I put them together. So. I couldn't just return the baby quails I got my bob whites because one, they're most likely going to be eaten and killed and I can't be having that. I can't have that on my conscience. You know, I could have intervened and then I decided not to and then I gave my baby quails back and they got eaten so I decided to keep them which adds a lot more workload to us but thankfully I have Jay and Alex who helped me out tremendously they worked so hard on this they did such a good job and like this was probably I don't want to be like a baby or anything but this is probably one of the hardest things we've ever really had to do as of recently you know like this actually was extremely hard you you have to use a lot of your brain we went to Lowe's and Home Depot like 20 times we ran out of zip ties we thought about it decided that we couldn't just have mesh on the top we needed to fortify the ceiling a lot of sweat literally has gone into this a lot of sweat so it's almost finally time to move them in but as I said earlier beforehand I am going to be putting some cat food in the middle of each thing and seeing if raccoons break in or not I also am gonna have a nighttime camera to see what kind of wildlife we have here which should be actually really exciting so yeah that's what's happening over here at the skies ranch and I'm really excited to announce that you guys We'll be getting more vlogs, so keep your eyes peeled. Turn on your notifications 
because vlogs are gonna be coming your way. We're gonna be vlogging a lot more. I'm gonna get back to work. You guys, take a look at this caterpillar. Can someone identify this caterpillar to me? I really wanna know what this is and what it's gonna turn into. I'm pretty sure this is like a poisonous biting one. Look at that caterpillar, that is insane. I've seen more wildlife in Florida, like literally in my own backyard than I've ever seen in my entire life. Like I've never seen anything that looks like this. And he only has like one antenna branch on his face and then he has two on his back. And look at those colors, like that's crazy. Look at that, so beautiful. Am I weird? This gets me excited. Also, I think I'm losing my voice again. All right guys, so it's about, I don't know, maybe an hour later, we finished fortifying the roof. If you look carefully, you can see a camera. Comment a camera emoji in the comment sections down below if you can see where I put the hidden camera. All right, now we're packing up the truck with all the garbage. And let me show you the inside. So we have this as predator protection. We have this overhang. We have zip tie city up in this house. All right, I'm gonna sprinkle some inside. That should be enough. Jay almost ran over all of our pots. Now he's gonna back up into our door. We're good. Back it up, back it up. All right. Just for the camera's sake, I'll sprinkle some food here and here. All right, and there's the rest of the food in here. All right, and now I pray that I set up the hunter's camera correctly. So now all I have to do is kind of the inside. We bought some lavender plants. I'm gonna plant those on the inside. I don't know if they're gonna die or not because they require full sun and I'm not sure if that's gonna get full sun or not. Then we have pots to make like little hides in. So yeah, I'm just super excited. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, be sure to hit that like button and I will see you guys in my next video, which will be letting the quails inside of their new house. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.